to it. Looks like I got to do a refresh before it dies. Yeah, it's so nice. We're live on. You're live on SensorTube. SensorTube is the last one that kicked in today, gang. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is April 20th, 2024. And uh, 3 p.m. PST, West Coast Canada time. Elder guy, it's 420. You're at the tail end of 420. You got an hour left. <laughs> Maybe next time we start in the morning. Uh, that way you get more of a full day of 420 going on. Because for me, it's a day daytime celebration. So uh, there were a number of years where I took 420 off. It didn't matter what I was doing. <laughs> you know, I said I'm taking a vacation. So that's fun. I hope you guys are doing well. John Zak on sensor tube. Salutations, salutations. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome to another live, another live stream. Let me do my little intro before notifications or while we wait for notifications to go out before it gets busy here. Uh, that way we have it. Gang, if you want to know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can definitely follow the work there. We are live streaming on Twitch, on SensorTube, and on Rumble soon to be on bitchute and odyssey as well we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded and uh join our little community share information piscon salutations salutations hope you're doing well welcome welcome to another live stream we do have a soundcloud page where i am at present recording this on a lapel mic lapel mic and we will upload the audio of this live stream of this uh, live stream to uh some clouds and should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify google play amazon or whatever it might be zimmy salutations hope you're doing well dancing vigil morning walk stream nice morning walk stream is fantastic fantastic gang we do have a twitter account we're on minds we're on gab we're on VK, we're on True Social, we're on Substack Notes, and we are on Getter. If you can uh, get on those platforms and you like those platforms, you're definitely welcome to join us there. Gang, I'm going to pour myself a drink. We're going to do a little salutations. Elder God, thank you very much. There we go. Let me bring up my sensor tube chat. Uh, we're going blue. Empress 1908 Gin. Let's see. Original Indigo. All natural. It's pretty good gin. Crafted. What does that say? Crafted. <laughs> I'll read it to you. Uh, crafted in collaboration with the iconic empress hotel in victoria bc local gin right like my town empress hotel is like a uh, tourist attraction like big ancient hotel uh, in victoria bc empress 1908 gin uses delicate naturally naturally beautifully beautifully pea blossoms pea blossoms to create its jewel tone and superior balance uh, and tonic or citrus uh, add tonic or citrus and watch the spirit transform we're going to drink it neat and then the the other part is uh, french nice nice and it's really beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. Or pour, pour it and you'll see it. It's like purple. Young Key 3111. Oh, Jin. Baby Knights. Hello, gang. Salutations. Elder God. Alcohol. I do not in, endorse, promote anything. <laughs> Real MC Mike. Salutations. Happy 420, Chichon. Gang. Figure means better on sensor tube. Happy 420, Chichon. Thank you very much salutations 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 B 
beautiful color. Like, look at this. Amazing color. Right. Look at the tone on that. I don't know if it's going to catch it. Hey, we're getting fractals here. <laughs> Gin fractals. Fantastic color. Salute, gang. Happy 420. Welcome to this live stream. And for those of you that are supporting this work, thank you very much for the support, gang. I hope you're enjoying the content and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Salute. And gang, to the mods, to the mods, to the mods, to the mods. Salute, gang. Very nice, strong. Very nice. We're going to drink it neat. Infinity, <laughs> Yuki says. And I got uh, uh, what kind of kombucha? I got lychee and jasmine kombucha. We're going purple today. As a little bit of a chaser. And I'm wearing my dress, dress shirt. Uh, because I mentioned in a previous stream that, uh, you know, I said, oh, I went on my war suit and went out and went out to a 420 rally. And someone mentioned, we'd like to see you in your James Bond suit on Sensor 2. They mentioned, I forget who it was. And uh, I'm not going to wear a suit, but I'll wear the dress shirt I wore that time. Salute, gang. Yeti Punk, how are you doing? Pop culture, happy 420, happy 420 to you as well, brother. As soon as I get caught up with the chat, I'm gonna load up the vape, load up the vape, say salutations to everyone. Uh, Dancing Vigil is 8 30 a.m. and now I feel like wine. <laughs> nice. Maya is 5311. You endorse math? I endorse math. That is the only thing. And comic books. <laughs> and, and gardens. <laughs> Lark party, hey, hey, you all, and what up, Chicho? 420, baby. Dancing visual, I dare Chicho to pour a mega pint of gin. No, I, I ain't young and stupid no more, man. <laughs> I did that shit when I was like <laughs> way younger. <laughs> if you're talking about pouring a pint of gin and drinking a pint of gin, mm, I'm too old for that. Maybe in the next life when I'm young and stupid again. <laughs> First time chat, how are you doing? Oh. Uh, Os -er OS, I can't pronounce that. How do you pronounce that? On uh, Twitch, uh, cheap viewers and fault. Oh God, it's a sp <laughs> why, why did I bother to read the message first? <laughs> uh, Large part, always a pleasure to be here. Awesome, awesome. Dance, uh, dance, smudge one thirty five. Happy four twenty, brother. Is that uh, uh, Cora? Uh, Cora Karaka, no, this is uh, the gin. I don't uh, Karaka. I've heard the name, but I can't remember what it associated. It's a local gin, brewed in Victoria, BC. It's it's nice flavor, strong though, a beautiful color. Like seriously, beautiful color. A really cool color for gin. Right, like, super cool color. Chicho fractals. <laughs> Magus, cheers, cheers, Jinfinity Yuki. Ichi. It, I always try to pronounce Chia. <laughs> Happy 420, Chicho. Any special snacks today? Yeah, yeah, I got some snacks. Uh, common Victoria, London. Is it Victoria, London too? This thing? This one's Victoria, BC, so is it connected to that? Is that what we're talking about? We're talking about Karaka. Kor Karaka. Is that the like a licorice flavor uh, should i show you my snacks here i'll show you my snacks i got sweet and savory just because we don't know right <laughs> so 420 we don't know what we're gonna crave i meant gin and pints oh gin and pints you drink gin and pints in london like you pour a pint of gin and drink a pint of gin that must be an all night thing all night i could do i couldn't drink it like a beer that'd be nothing like this much gin you pour this much gin and drink it? 
in 1818. Whoa, hardcore. Men were men back then. <laughs> A pint of gin is insane. <laughs> it would be. I made some uh, smokies and uh, sausage with potatoes. Uh, uh, potatoes. What else was it? Potatoes. Something else I put in there. Um, so I got smokies. Smokies. <laughs> Like a couple of different types of smokies. This one's spicy. This one's just a straight up smoky, and with potatoes, with onions and leek, like just fried up. It was really good. It, I did it in a really cool, nice way. And then just tomato, just fresh tomato. Oh yeah, this the potatoes have tomatoes as well. And then I got. Um, I don't feel like digging into that yet. Sleepy waves, yo. How we doing? Brando, four twenty time, four twenty. And then uh, I got some avocados, and I made myself some uh, avocado Doop. with all it is is salt and lemon. Uh, so this is really nice with the sausages, and uh, just with with what I just showed you there, it's uh, it tastes really good. It tastes really good. Mm. Right, super yummy, super yummy. Okay. It's like a paste. Really nice. It's just straight up avocado, salt, and lemon. Lemon juice. Right? So it was really nice. Um, in terms of sweet snack, I got some almond butter here. Almond butter. Okay. Almond butter. And this snack is amazing. Like if you're craving strong healthy nice snack oh man so good apples okay this is apples and fig right apple and fig so what you can do i'll have one of these right now dried fig right like this right really nice 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 apples crispy And just use it as a dip, right? This goes amazing together, and with peanut butter too. With peanut butter is really nice as well, but almond butter uh, is fantastic. Really nice and dried, and dried figs. You gotta love them. You gotta love them. Yeah, super good. Super good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Chia, have you watched uh, Shogun yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic show. Really liking it. Trans Slender on Rumble. How you doing? Hola, Chicho. 420. The day we smoke till our faces melt off. Salute. Johnny Depp megabyte Magus cultural differences what what are smokies just uh briars briars I'm not sure they're like thicker sausages like it's not hot dog it's like a it's like a like a German sausage like uh short something I don't know what you call them like it's it's more complex hot dog really it's, it's, a, it's a hot dog but it's a more complex hot dog and um it could be pork or it could be beef, usually pork or beef, or a mix of both. So it's just a thicker hot dog, but better, better. Atramas, greetings, greetings. Gang, I got my vapes going on. Ariser Solo 2, Ariser Solo 1. I started off my vaping career with this. I like it. Save the lungs, no smoking. Ariser Solo 2, I'm going to go with right now because... I got anyway I use both of them uh, if I'm gonna sit down somewhere if I go to a party it's a long longer party sometimes I take both just in case festival or something like this we got a whole bunch of different uh, we got Thornsberry 2023 Thornsberry I got like three jars of this <laughs> right 
I haven't been smoking this Thornsberry. That's why I got so much of it. Um, I think I'm down to my last jar of Purple Royal Sour Kush, right? I think this is the last jar. Uh, I'm smoking a lot of uh, or vaping a lot of apricot mimosa. Super delicious. Very nice. Okay. I got ladybug here. Uh, taking down almost all the ladybug. Whoop. Ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. Almost take it all down. Okay. That's the last little bit. What else I got? I got 88 grapes. Taking almost all of this down. Right. This is 2022. Very little left. All right. Mm. Got CBD, purple, purple orange CBD plus unknown THC variety. One to one. This is more, you know, AQ, whatever, sleepy. Right? One to one THC CBD ratio. Anti inflammatory, right? I have more jars. Around the varieties, but we're gonna go with Thornsberry. Let's go with Thornsberry. I gotta start hitting this up. It's nice. I've been enjoying this today. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Salutations, salutations. Matthew Horn. Oh, Chicho, if uh, the gin is pea blossom infused, as it said in the label, it will turn a really fantastic purple color if you squeeze a couple of drops of lemon in it. Really. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I've not, I haven't done it. We have a little bottle that we were smoking. Uh, I've been smoking and drinking, uh, but I didn't. Uh, it's my first time we're drinking this. Thornsberry? Okay. So, but the amount we've drank, we haven't uh, put lemon in it. I will. I, I'm tied in here. Otherwise, I would have got myself some lemon. All right? Very nice. From our 20, uh, 23 harvest. Okay. We got 90 grams total. This is 36 of it that went in here. So I got three jars of this. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, we'll definitely give it a shot. Let's put this here. And I take the bud. I usually just break off a chunk. Right? And then just break it again. Break it more. If I'm not grinding it with a coffee grinder, throw that in there. Right. Don't pack it too hard, but that's a nice pack. Right. Sticky. I usually set my temp at uh, 180. 180 Celsius. Okay. And I like it at 180. I don't go higher than that. And this thing kicks up. I just load it up. And we're all set. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. <laughs> nice. Aldromas, Chia. Looks very delicious. Super delicious. Brat, Bratsworth, Bratsworth. Is that what you call it? Brats? Dancing visual. These sauces are making me hungry. Damn. <laughs> Baby nights. Damn. I got to uh, go get snacks now as well. <laughs> awesome, Chia. That just heats up the herb in the chamber right yeah yeah it doesn't burn so you're not burning green uh the leaves it's the crystals you're vaporizing so you get less um what do you call it uh like a carcinogens but um no burning right no smoke or very little right oh i gotta put up the cloud thing gang we're going into do, 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 do. Our, our picture is gonna come up. <laughs> Salud, gang! I'm gonna continue to read the comments and chit chat. Right? Peaky Blinders, hi all. Salutations, how are you doing? Yeti Punk. The strains I got are GMO cookies and blueberry OG. Oh, I've never, I haven't tried either of those. Big Chase, hello from New Mexico. Salutations, New Mexico. My baby is OG Purple gr uh, Granddad. Granddad. Oh, I don't think I've had that. Louis Eduardo on Sensitube. Uh, La Fala says you have to play that way. You forgot the main thing. I did. 
<laughs> Gotta give the painting some respect, man. <laughs> Comes in handy as well. Uh, da -da -da. Baby, nice laughing. Carbon, car, not carbon. Um, what do you call it? Greens, like a uh, carcinogen um, smoke. But there's another word for it. You know, less carbon monoxide. I think less carbon monoxide, maybe. Man, <laughs> Yuki says <laughs> we need oxygen. <laughs> Hilarious. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome, I hope you guys are doing well, gang. Salute, salute. Let's have a cheer. Doop, doop, doop. Cheers, gang. Doop. Going with the colors of the painting. Everything's purple theme today. Very delicious. Chia. Sorry, I'm kind of a newbie to the herbs. Uh, but would I, would I be able to vaporize every day? I'm finding that it's really accelerating my... Uh, gym progression and MMA progression for some reason. Um, uh, well, I can tell you that I vaporize on a daily basis, yes, and I have been doing, unless I take major breaks, uh, I have been vaporizing for, uh, well, since I started vaporizing, when was it? I guess 12 years now. Uh, if I got my timing right, maybe, maybe, no, after that, I think I'd be less than 12 years so but yeah i, I used to always uh, uh smoke when i went into the gym play some bob marley <laughs> we can't bob marley doesn't own his own music he sold it to like music conglomerates that hijack our governments and uh, pass draconian fascistic laws to suppress us prevent us from sharing music, art, literature. Uh, and if we try to do it, they censor us. So love Marley, definitely love Marley, total revolutionary. But man, do not cut a deal with big corporations. They, they don't give a rat's ass about you or your art. The channel, combustion, combustion. There's no combustion, thank you. The channel on censor to combustion. There's no combustion fire <laughs> smoke big chase happy 420 you all sean bullying or bullinger salute 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 uh, yo you and me why are you hiding chicho because uh, uh on certain platforms i don't know if it's cool to uh vaporize or not and i love this painting it's a family painting so we're keeping it uh, uh <laughs> what do you call it <laughs> uh showing the painting i guess yeah it's better this way it's good to you know sometimes have the painting going we did interpretation of this you, some people say there's the moon and the sun and the earth in the background and the planets floating around i won't be hiding all stream that's for sure just until we vaporize very delicious this thornsberry is super yummy chia good to hear your piece of uh kit require much maintenance or have a lifespan um for the vaporizer no this is the, like uh, very solid very solid i haven't had issues with the vapes um one of them i had an issue with i sent it in and they sent me a brand new one uh because it was in the one year warranty and i haven't had an issue since and that was like like this one this is the this is my old school one this one I've been using for, after I bought one, something happened to it. Uh, I sent it in within a year and then they sent me a, they fixed it up for me. They fixed it up and they sent it back to me. So they didn't send me an original one. No, they fixed it up. So this is the original one I've had for a number of years and it works perfect. The battery doesn't hold the charge as much anymore, but since I got the new one, right? Uh, I don't, you know, I, I could change the battery, rechargeable battery for that, let it run, you know, so it holds more charge, but I haven't had the need to. John Zook, I wish I could try that cannabis. It's really nice. Really nice. Keanu Weaver, how are you doing? The painting is incredible. Always a pleasure to see it every year. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. 
Very nice, very nice. The cannabis he grew himself. I bet it tastes really good. Yeah, it's and it's organic. Like this is cannabis that I grew. Uh, thank you for pointing that out, Sean. Or um, a, a Junzuk. This is from last year's harvest, 2023. Fed it you know, organic feed in the patio. Lots of love. So it's really nice. Sean Bulling, I'm a black belt in jujitsu under Eddie Bravo. Nice. Weed helps me get into a flow state for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. I bet it does, Big Chase says. Uh, da -da 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 -da, baby Knight. Speaking of Bob Marley's music, been under copyright law. I read that Einstein's papers are copyright protected as well, which is insane for me. That should be free information. Or maybe I'm just crazy. I, I was able to, uh, I read like three of his papers. Uh, I was able to print them off, but I can't remember where I got them from. Uh, I just printed them off on my printer and read them. That's it. Chia, I'm going to buy the stores and pickle mighty if you know it. I don't know it. Store at those stores sounds familiar. German engineering, so should be good with prices. <laughs> yeah, German engineering. Uh, German engineering, uh, it is, it used to be way better, but considering how German government functions right now, uh, it's pretty. It's pretty, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not functioning properly, major hiccups with it. So, you know, maybe the engineering has gone down the toilet as well. Very nice. Here, I'll show you the end of it. Doop. Let's just turn it off. We'll be doing more of that. Let me take the picture down, gang. Boink. Here's here's what it looks like, right? It the the top is hot, so I can't touch it. Let's see if we'll focus. Do, 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 do. There it is. See that? And it's still green there on the top. If I take this out. Check it out. Check it out. So it's still good to go, like really, like I could have. Uh, There's still green there. Right? But I'm okay with it. I grew my own herb. I got more than enough to not have to get everything out of it, right? And uh, no one's chasing me, so I could just put it out and load it up again. And Redo. Salute, gang. Salute. Nice gin. Nice gin. Flavorful. Strong. John Zuck. I think there's only one company that sells organic cannabis near me. Uh, thankfully, it's not too expensive. Really? Wow, wow. Yeah, organic cannabis. Once I start smoking organic cannabis or vaping organic cannabis, I didn't go back to chemical and stuff like this it's, it's a world of difference John's like do you save the vape herb I, I saved mine vape till miss brown uh then save for uh tinctures yeah I, I i did initially but i never used it so i stopped saving it I, I i probably have a jar or two of like the like what you're talking about and i was always meant to make tinctures or butter or something but i never did so i just stopped saving it I don't know how many, how much I would have now. <laughs> it would be a lot. <laughs> oh, nice. Big Chase. Yeah, he says, I need to grow, uh, try vaping. Uh, I grow my own organic. Yeah, I never thought I would vape uh, because I was chronic. Smoker joint. I love it. But then once I started vaping, I was like, oh, man, joints are dirty. <laughs> it tastes bad. Like once you vape for your own bud, and when when you take it, it's flower. Like you're getting, like it's the sex organ of the plant. You so you're not and you're not burning burning it. You're vaping it, getting the essence out of it, like the flower flavor coming in. I don't know. Very delicious. Very delicious. 
that saves the lungs saves the lungs right <laughs> oh god i think i need a beer cheryl cheers cheers da, 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 da. so theoretically can make tea out of that out of the burnt stuff i don't know how good it would be you need oil you need butter to extract the thc from the cannabis from the bud so i don't i don't know what the tea would do i've never made tea from cannabis so i don't think it'll do anything it might have a flavor to it but i've never tried uh is that romulan ale? <laughs> i know it looks like it doesn't it is it's the um, west coast victoria gin <laughs> might be just the strongest romulan Rum, romulan ale illegal it's a contraband in the federation of course right if they prohibit it you must try it chiha can you just sprinkle onto some uh, peanut butter uh, pb peanut butter? i don't know what that is maybe, maybe an upset stomach but would it work i don't know on peanut butter there's like there's oil like uh, almond butter has oil too so maybe the oil from the almond butter or peanut butter would extract out the thc but i think you might have to like mix it and let it sit or heat it up and get the heat to extract out the thc i'm not sure joints do feel dirty joints feel mad <laughs> there's a period sometimes it's dirty this is dirt do not try that we used to have ashtray right and then you put your you know roaches in there right and sometimes it was, when it was illegal it was hard to get fresh cannabis really it was but people, people don't appreciate it. sometimes it was hard to score with cannabis sometimes it was it's always been like in the 1980s a gram of cannabis was ten dollars in the 1990s it was ten dollars and eight was would run you 25 to 35 an ounce was usually around 200 take an average right in the 1980s <laughs> the price didn't change it was always that until now recently and it's you know way over production competition blah, 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 market Ooh, prices have completely cl uh, collapsed right uh but when it was really hard sometimes to get cannabis or you're running low you i was in my younger days i didn't have enough can you took the roaches from the ashtray and you broke them up dirty 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 you broke them up right you broke them up nasty nasty don't do this ugly nasty right broke them up broke them up and then you rolled them now as dirty as they were as nasty as it was as gross as it was or whatever you want to call it right man they were strong rolled roaches are pretty damn strong depending on what you're smoking right but don't do that don't do that john zuck on sensor tube the worst thing about some cannabis stores is the plastic containers it's so nasty and ruins the cannabis yeah i haven't bought from them for a while <laughs> my cannabis and plastic i got to try put a whole nug in instead of grinding it up because i always get crap in my mouth yeah 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 i usually grind it up tell you the truth i usually well yeah i go have 50 50 now i go 50 50 now if i'm at parties and stuff like this or a festival or whatnot i'm it's always grinded at home i usually i'm starting to usually 80 percent of the time i'm taking the bud now putting it in right at festivals it's easy right that's did i bring it i didn't even bring it <laughs> it's easy right uh merc chicho Happy, happy day indeed salutations have you ha had blue dream before blue dream i think so i don't always go with sativa but it's one i like oh eh, anywho glad to be chilling with you and everyone else today fantastic nice to have you brother and i've had blue dream but it's been a while i can't remember what it tastes like but i think i liked it it stuck with me the name is in abstinence uh, John Zuck says abstinence illegal in the states um abstinence depending on the in Canada anyway they the abstinence you buy from stores it doesn't have the wormwood content too high so they reduce it true authentic absence Cheryl would probably know this better than I 
the higher one would is i think it's one would uh then it becomes what it was meant to be i think Ch -ch -ch. there's some chit chat going on yeah people talking together on a sensor tube that's good that's good blue dream is great okay okay john success uh cheryl kind of sexy <laughs> what is this i'm missing chat temporary peace how you doing how's life seven not even a full gram was available the dealer sold 0.8 grams oh <laughs> that's a gram yeah oh i used to get scanned man I used to get scanned crazy first time chat lord of thunder nine hey chicho it's kind of off topic but i've been following you since 2019 and watched a lot of your videos first time chatting your stream on twitch just want to say hi uh to my virtual friend awesome salutations lord of thunder thank you for sticking around for five years running now salute and thank you for considering me a friend uh, fun <laughs> share what i love so that's my that's my gig right or share what not love necessarily because i don't love war but uh, share what occupies my mind my time not everything but a lot of it right john's like my favorite strain is moonbow uh, moonbow it's a really uh really menthol really tasting opens up the airways really never tried it that'd be pretty cool actually Chiha on twitch in uk we have spliffs spliffs yeah 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 it's the norm uh here to mix the joint with a lot of tobacco head rush and gross yeah 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 i have friends that do it gross the only time i'm okay with that if you're rolling hash right because tobacco burns at a high temp hash burns at a high temp and whatnot I, even then i'm not okay with it roll roll that shit in your weed man <laughs> right oh i was gonna bring some finger hash i didn't bring it oh well sure kind of sexy was way back uh talking about the flower oh the flower yeah 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 100 percent, 100 percent. yeah sure it's one of my to go to things uh, that i've been using for a while just so you know at gatherings before cannabis became illegal and stuff like this people are like oh how can you smoke i go dude it's the sex organ of a plant fucking i'm smoking the sex organ of a plant do you have any idea what fucking pleasures that gives you and they're like what <laughs> And then you slowly start planting seeds, and next thing you know, within a few months, they're fucking five heads. <laughs> they fuck with the chicho. I converted them. Let's take a little bit more. This is very delicious, by the way. Thornsberry, thornsberry, thornsberry. I didn't cut them tight, right? I didn't cut them tight, but lots of crystals in there, right? Lots of crystals in there. If you can be a good salesman for what you love, you're living it right. Okay, let's do the let's do the old school vape, right? This is the solo one, and what you do, you press these two buttons. Right? It gives you a little beep, and then you kick up the temperature. And I I don't burn it hot, right? Save the lungs, save the lungs. I don't need to burn it hot. I know people that burn it all the way to the top. <laughs> They're smokers, right? Would they like it hot? I'm like, man, put it on three. I'm just gonna come up to three. I'm just gonna put on put this in there. And their their things fit between you know different generations. Works for me. I gotta send an email to these people, man. John Summer for Chicho, you do tons of cooking streams. You ever cook with cannabis butter? No, I haven't. Oh well, personally, yeah, but in the streams, no personally yeah i've done cannabis butter twice i think but i'm not an edible person edibles i find um i don't have enough control over i don't have enough uh um, i can't dose it properly right because the cannabis strain varies from everything and then sometimes you leave it on for a little bit longer and use the same amount of <laughs> same amount of butter for cookie salting one is way stronger than the other one it's like oh man i, do, I don't want to have a surprise coming my way right uh but i've done a couple of times it's not bad 
I don't I actually don't like the flavor of cannabis in food. I don't like it. it, it, it uh, so I, I haven't done any cooking too much, right? Too much. Dancing visual. Started watching Chicho for the math. Eight years later, <laughs> I'm a pot smoking anarchist. What the fuck happened? <laughs> but you're well armed to do what you want to do with the mathematics, right? Live it well. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, flower, flower, not flower, picture, picture. Nothing happened. I just had a little thing. Salutations, gang. Uh, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Seven, been loving my packs. Three, vape unit. Easy to use and clean. Very nice, very nice. Chia, wow. Me too. 2019. Has it really been five years? Wow. I first came here and you were helping me with my math problems when I was back in high school. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. Are you the system of down guy? La, 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 la. <laughs> They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison. For me, you don't live in. Da, 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 Yonki. Just uh, providing a purely hypothetical demonstration, exactly. <laughs> Singer, nice. Yeti punk, I agree. Tobacco mixed in mixed is nasty, nasty. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, some people, but smokers, man, they justify. It. Oh, I'm just, I'm just mixing, and I just like, it. and then slowly they just become tobacco smokers too, right? Uh, this is a riser solo a riser is a canadian company out in uh, ontario uh, a z uh, a r z a r z e r john summerfield uh, summerford says it edible roulette yeah edible roulette russian roulette <laughs> that's crazy big chase puff puff fire fire cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs> nice salute gang Mark on center haha I hear you Chicho uh, once had an edible cookie and the taste was completely in, uh, enmeshed in the dough uh, one of the first times I tried it classic times <laughs> yeah, it's crazy if you can uh, mask the cannabis flavor it's not bad but then it becomes dangerous right must be dosed properly. I look at T31. <laughs> I'm assuming that's supposed to be <laughs> that's supposed to be some kind of emote or something. Fun. Let's do a count. Let's do let's see who 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 here. What's going on? We got 10 people on Rumble. We got 30 people on Twitch. And uh, what do we got? We got 22 people on sensor tube. Salutations, salutations, everyone. Welcome to our live stream temporary 404 error hilarious that was a count that was a count oh t31 tc22 r11 count of what wait a second i should know this i'm supposed to know mathematics john my brother uh vapes blunts Fa favors blunts or oh, favors blunts tobacco leaves wrapping his butt the tobacco gets the heart pacing uh okay er every once in a while yeah 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 uh, J john uh, tobacco in the joint the ground up tobacco i don't like blunts i like i i make my own blunts from my own tobacco uh okay so and there was a period i was working in the cuban cigar store and i had access to cuban leaf so I was smoking a lot of blunts. So I do appreciate the blunt. I really do. Blunts I like. Oh, Twitch sensor tube rumble. Cheryl got it. Oh, snap. Cheryl decoded it. Oh, T Twitch 31 people. Nice. <laughs> Why could I not figure it out? 
Sensor Tube 22 people and Rumble 11 people. Awesome. Thank you, Elder God and Cheryl. They're tag teaming each other. Fantastic. Fantastic. And gang, do not forget. Do not forget. Free Assange. Free Assange. Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, candlesforassange.com, or countless resources on free speech platforms. Salute to Julian Gang. Cheers. Space cookies, Ryan. Fuck the war on drugs. Fuck the war on drugs. 100%. Yeti, my neighbor once made me some cookies. Uh, it was her first time making wheat cookies, and she said, I'm not sure about the dose for each cookie, so most cookies weren't strong. But, but <laughs> there was that one, and holy crap, I swear I was in space. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> very dangerous, very dangerous. One time, one of my best friends, Irish, like a brother. His family members, uh, one of them, it was his thing where he made, uh, was it pot or hash brownies? Pot brownies, pot, pot brownies, okay. And I said, oh, let, let, you know, I'd love to try it. So he brought me some, right? And there were squares about this big, right? There were squares about this big, here, yeah, about this big, right? So he would make the brownie and cut them into this, you know, this size squares, right? And his relative was, it was his thing and he dosed it properly. He would eat one of those things and he would go on a really long, strong trip. And then he would eat half of one halfway through or another one halfway through and extend the trip, right? My friend who used to grow a lot and, while versed in cannabis, he he told me, Chicho, I take a quarter of it, and it's crazy strong. But he knew me, so he said, okay, maybe you'll want to take maybe half. Try half before you go to a full. I went, you know what? Uh, I trust you, man. You do you do a quarter, and I'll do a quarter. So just imagine taking this much and having a quarter of one, right? I did that. And for three hours, I was in my apartment way back in the day, not a different apartment, in my apartment on the ground waiting for this trip to be over because my stomach felt like it was coming out of me. It was so damn strong, right? So edibles are dangerous. Edibles is dangerous to control, okay? Oh my god, everyone's doped up on marble. Uh, rumble, not marble, rumble. <laughs> everyone's having a good time. Nice and chill. A gummy sized piece of brownie. It was crazy strong, crazy strong. Big Chase says my cookies are brown uh, or and brownies are forty to fifty milligrams, I figure that's not bad you can buy uh, how much are they some of the stuff they sell in stores you can they're 20 20 milligram uh, gummies and stuff like this i've tried some of the gummies they're not strong at all miss balloon's hand salutations how are you doing i like edibles from the dispensary because it can dose it easier yeah yeah so i do try the, the some of the dispensary stuff where the dosage you know is pretty much uniform across the board and i like the gummies and i like some of the um what do you call it um, pretzels they sell and stuff like this but i don't take too much of those i sell them oh god sadly cannabis has no effect on me oh my god hey, me and you need to get together and, <laughs> and uh, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out yuki 25 milligrams is like my limit on edibles i took 50 once and was fried out of my mind at a hockey game oh my god that would be nasty okay that's like a nightmare temper piece me either tolerance through the roof miss spoon hands spent 250 dollars a day and i'm 
considering going back before they close <laughs> today serious at the dispensary nice cheryl i don't think you uh tried it up <laughs> to elder god or the right type or with the right person right miss Boons, uh, i got some nice cake pops that uh care usually too pricey for me cake pops i don't know what they are uh I took 50 once and got sick. Never again. Oh my God. 50, 50 milligrams. 50 milligrams got you sick. Really? Cheryl, oh my gosh. You two get uh, together and I'll fly in to babysit. <laughs> nice. And bring bail money. <laughs> oh, pain, pain, uh, painkillers take six days. Uh, six a day. Me take 18. Wow, wow. Elder God, I would start you off with. Uh, fungi and then slowly break you in let's take down our painting doing doing fun <laughs> controllers then happy 420 all you chichonians light them up if you got them light them up if you got them i was eating popcorn and i thought i was eating uh packing nuts and had to keep uh, checking that it was popcorn hilarious <laughs> funny 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 uh john on sensor tube i believe the thc is processed differently by your stomach rather than the lungs uh, i think so too so some people get a strong high from edibles but a much more mild high from smoking okay yeah it's super strong on me right most edibles from the dispensary are too weak for me i like fresh homemade ones nice i, I like that don't I, I take one i don't really feel anything edibles from like gummy bears and stuff depending on the milligrams i guess uh sometimes i'm taking three or four right uh your liver has something to do with it your liver has something with it okay so if you process your liver's working good you get higher if that's the case, I got good liver. <laughs> I don't think I do. I drank way too much when I was younger. <laughs> Jackson, I'm coding a joint in dabs, and it's uh, not as strong as I'm hoping it to be. You can do a second one, I guess. John Zuck, driving on the highway on LSD is scary. Poof. Would not recommend. Uh, just some edibles pot edibles boop, boop. nice conversation with people talking about getting hot how you gonna get hot <laughs> what you gonna do dude face 85 salutation is the most useless thing you can you can do with cannabis is smoke it all the health benefits uh, are from eating it um no i disagree i disagree there's probably more health benefits from eating it but um for muscle aches health benefit uh opening up the blood vessels health benefit um reducing inflammation health benefit so cannabis you can get stuff not that smoking it is useless to smoke but you know what i mean yeah yeah you get more health benefits from ing ingesting it but if you're always nervous about what you're thinking <laughs> the stress level compensates <laughs> right oh god yes my liver and kidney run at very high levels in fact my white blood cells are off the charts <laughs> you're like a zombie killer uh, da, da, da. miss balloon has smoking helps me better with nausea yeah yeah 100 percent. and appetite and just relaxing like yeah, I, uh, like for, for me, uh, eating mushrooms is amazing, right? Because I can dose it properly. And I don't like a lot, a lot of people say, oh, I take mushroom chocolate, chocolate mushrooms, mushroom, dried mushrooms. <laughs> this is what it is. Like, I know exactly what I'm taking, right? That's what I like. Right. Yeah, I would not recommend. I would not recommend evander holy feels <laughs> nice do you still have your ear 
toasted at work right now. Happy 420, team. Happy 420, gang. Salute, salute. Dad, I wish I had a little lemon to put it in. Nice. Salute, gang. By the way, here's a little trick, right? A lot of people say, oh, I can't smoke cannabis. I can't smoke weed. I get the munchies on it. I can't stop eating. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, the trick to cannabis is once you smoke, vape, whatever, when you get the munchies, control yourself for about 20 minutes. 20, just 20 minutes. 50 minutes, 20 minutes. You get that munch. You get that urge to start munching on something. Just 15, 20 minutes. Don't. That urge disappears, right? It disappears. You're craving like you're that. That I need to eat something. I need flavor. I need something, right? That goes away. Now you can eat. If you start eating, you'll go. Oh, flavor is amazing. You'll keep on eating. You'll munch. But that that instinctive urge to munch disappears after 15 to 20 minutes. So hold off for that long. And once that urge disappears, don't eat anything and you won't have the munchies, right? So that's something that I learned a long ass time ago. Uh, just in case anyone that's having a hard time with it, okay? Figured I shared that. Cheryl Chicho, is that from uh, sharing ham distillery? No, this is, is it sharing? I don't know what the distillery is called. It's this thing. Check this out. This is a local gin local gin from victoria bc it's called empress 1908 okay uh, made from pea blossoms it's uh we bought one of these in a small bottle the mickey and we've basically gone through the mickey there's a little bit left in it uh, and i liked it it's strong uh, but i like it i love the color on it so Oh, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. Now, what's this kur kurakau? <laughs> I gotta look that up. Dancing visual. <laughs> Not bad. It's actually really nice with soda. I had some yesterday. And it's really nice with kombucha. I had some yesterday. No, I had some with soda yesterday. Not kombucha. Evander Hol Holy Fields. I needed to hear this. Been overeating lately. Yeah, it's too easy to overeat, right? It's too easy because the flavors amplifies, right? All those people that say, "Oh, it doesn't amplify," whatever it is, it does. It does. Check the color. Let's see. What the fuck is really close? That's pretty cool. The, the reflection is difficult right. nice color to it really cool color miss balloon has you look so nice and um blue chicho thanks definitely a good color for you thanks <laughs> Blue shirt, blue drink, nice. Two blue drinks and a kombucha that's blue. Salute, gang. Here's the other blue one. This is, uh, what is it? Lychee and jasmine kombucha. Very nice, very nice. This will be, it's more uh, smoky, so it won't reflect as nice. That's nice. Thanks, baby nights. <laughs> blue shirt, blue drink. Chicho looking real handsome today. Alagot. Oh, here we go. Alagot, he, he found this. Meet Empress uh, 1908 Indigo Gin. Incorporated eight, incorporating eight botanical uh, inspired by botanicals inspired by 
Fairmont Empress's renowned afternoon tea service. Its recipe uh, balances the traditional citrus notes of gin with a warm herbal earthiness. Empress Indigo's gin breathtaking hue is derived from the infusion of butterfly pea flower, prov uh, providing the perfect base for a new aesthetic of cocktail creation and enjoyment. Or neat. <laughs> someone had a tumble downstairs they had a party last night they had their band playing uh they have a band together and i went to it just hung out a little bit they have a rolling stones cover band so they played rolling stones last night a lot a couple of guitars bass drums piano grand piano baby grand piano playing very nice Louis Eduardo, how are you doing? Chu Chicho, <laughs> looking fresh today. <laughs> Salutations, Eduardo. Hope you're doing well. Da, da, da. I, da, 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 da. Eric, I have some snacks I only have when I'm high. They are all sugar free or some healthy snacks. I call that foresight. Yeah, that's really good to do as well. Teach yourself to eat healthy food why not why not right why not evander nice color to it yeah beautiful beautiful yeah yeah i like when i'm drinking uh spirits i like these types of glasses simple if they're neat if even with uh with ice put one large ice cube in there and just go like this phenomenal Miss Balloon has be right back. You go for a smoke, drink, dancing vigil. I had some blue caracal with lemon and soda last night. Very refreshing, nice dancing vigil. Delicious, delicious. But I gotta figure out what what caracal is. I'm pretty sure I've had it. Goes well with vodka too. Nice, nice. Yeah, two local derbies. Very nice, very nice. We're just chilling and talking about drinks, alcohol. Should we have a food? Should we have a snack? What do we feel like? Do I feel like a snack? I don't know if I feel like a snack yet or not. Oh, blueberries, Evander. Blueberries are my go-to when indulging the herb. Yeah, blueberries, blackberry, berry nuts. I love almonds, walnuts, uh, raisin figs, dates, apples. Power food power food like i've heard so many people throughout the years trash talk cannabis fuck man it's incredible it's incredible how many people trash talk shit that they don't know trash talk shit that they've heard corporate propaganda centralized government tell them to trash talk and they use their talking points it's crazy it's crazy cheryl has it been 20 minutes? <laughs> I think it's been longer. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not craving munchies right now. The, like the flavor, that one thing too. One thing you can do to satisfy your munchies craving for, you know, some people get munchies when they do cannabis and stuff, is have something strong. Don't have weak flavors. And I'm not talking about uh, design junk food uh made in a way to make you want to eat more of that right i'm talking about something strong that satisfies your craving with the smallest amount right with the smallest quantity where you're like okay that was that was what i needed and then you can go on doing whatever it is that we're doing here we're just talking reading chit chatting right so for example this empress gin it's strong but that's what i was going for right I want something to if I'm craving some kind of flavor just a small sip fills my like a taste buds full of like a flower alcohol uh, sort of it could be pungent I don't know if it's pungent it's just different flavors where I'm like oh, satisfied right 
right? If I want to chase her, I take this. I just do a little sip. Again, bubbly. Something strong. Substantial, right? Not just fluff. Empty calories going in, right? These are wise word, words from a goatee person, white hair goatee person that's been uh, living the cannabis culture for a number of decades. Uh, works for me. Elegant. The origins of this offshoot product are murky. Some sources credit Balls, the Dutch spirits brand, and creating blue Caracol in the 1920s. Other sites, Senior Caraco, Senior Caraco, or Caraco, a long time orange liqueur distilled located on the island of Caraco, as having been the first blue, f first to blue a Caraco. Oh, so it's a uh, orange liqueur. I would like to try that. It's quite a versatile spirit. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Yeti Punk, I got the mad munchies right now too. <laughs> Go take a sip of straight up vodka. Uh, Eric, as a proud American, Canada sucks. D dude, as a, as, as, as a proud Canadian, Canada sucks. <laughs> Full of low IQ woke red rats ruled over by another set of low IQ red rats that are puppets of the World Economic Forum globalist tyrants. <laughs> we talked about this. Canada's fucking collapsing hard, man. Way harder in the United States. Way harder in the United States. Zensi Chicho. Uh, I love when I stumble upon your live streams. Much love to you and all the viewers. Salute, salute, Zen C. Welcome to our live streams. Nafayat, salutations. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Dancing <laughs> Vigil's laughing. <laughs> fuck up. Dancing Vigil, what the fuck happened to Canada? Low... Uh, look, the downfall of Canada occurred about 20 years ago with the education system being completely annihilated. We used to, like seriously, I've been teaching math for a while, <laughs> even in the 90s. I used to have some American students that came. American, man, they don't teach you mathematics. Like, fucking, I couldn't believe American students that I had that did not know math like did i was like yeah you don't you don't know how to add negative numbers <laughs> like they're in grade 10 oh, what the fuck <laughs> like you don't know how to add fractions they're in grade 12. i'm like whoa man math education in the united states is garbage canada wasn't bad in the 90s it was still okay right and then in the early 2000s i saw them americanizing our education system Apologies to our American friends, but man, math education in the United States has been shit for a long time. And they converted the American math education system to the uh, American one, United States one. So, yes, education. They've been breeding a bunch of low IQ red rats. <laughs> Again, inflating life where parents can't raise their children. It's like everything and anything, man. Basically, centralized power. Basically, people became so fucking lazy, didn't understand that life was not supposed to be just comfortable. I'm comfortable. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> life is not about comfort. It's nice to have comfort, but that is not what you should be striving for life to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. Oh, fuck. Like, what the hell? Right? Everyone, comfort, comfort, safety, safety, fear, fear. Bow, boo, boo, boo. Layered it on, and people became what we see now majority of people a bunch of low IQ rat rats and that's why Canada fell right 
Not bad. Yes, I cannot complain. Nice. Finally, some swearing. Swear you were dying for the swearing. High school kids, they can't do fractions. Dude, most high school kids in Canada, they can't, they can't deal with fractions. You need to, like, that's what math is, really. Right? If 99.9% .9 of the mathematics that people need in their daily lives is knowing how to deal with fractions. That's it. You know how to deal with fractions. You know most of what you need to know, know to learn about any system. You have the basis for it. Most kids in high school don't know how to deal with fractions. The dancing visual is crazy. Not fair. People go to work to feel bad, but that's their comfort. <laughs> yeah, like Pada cells are very comfortable. Yeah, drugged up. You go go to and check yourself out and to an, some kind of centralized institution and tell them you're feeling bad they'll give you pills up the yin yang to i can sit there and watch whatever it is you want to watch and feel comfortable right again red rats elder god I, I by the way gang elder god provided us this i'm pretty sure this is a red rat <laughs> what do you call it gif <laughs> right so super good uh John Zuck, what's your favorite cheese? What's my favorite? I, the, the cheese that I eat the most is feta. There's no doubt. No other cheese even comes close to feta. So I don't know if that's my favorite cheese. That's cheese, my two go-to cheese, feta. Uh, but I love all cheeses, man. I love cheese. Cheese is fucking... I love every cheese. <laughs> I love the cheese, man. What, is there a cheese that I don't like? No. It's like, do you love women? I love women. I love all women. What kind of woman don't I like? Or it's not associated with what type of person? I love all people. What type of person I don't like? Well, genocidal, suicidal, fucking maniac, motherfuckers. Right? Those who fucking don't respect life. Right? Who think they're special. Right? Uh, but cheeses don't do that. Cheeses don't have opinions. Cheeses, che cheese is cheese. I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Did I go off on that a lot? No. <laughs> Big cheese. Oranges work good for me. Oranges are delicious. So good, so good. Merck, I hated math growing up. Can't deny. It was your channel that made me realize it was doable. Awesome, Merrick. Thank you for the note on Sensor 2. Thank you for the note. That's one of one of the like when you start a project, try to have a purpose or a goal. What's one of the things you want to achieve? that was my number one uh, thing i wanted to achieve to get people to appreciate mathematics and it's not that you hated math it's because the centralized power made you hate math message retracted no retracted since he's speaking of math base 12 is superior <laughs> changed my mind since you've been talking about on, on, on gilded also Gouda, Gouda is so good. Go cheese, go cheese. So, um, Saganaki, not Saganaki, what are you? Saganaki, I think, the Greek cheese. All cheeses, man. Smoked cheese, a brie cheese, uh, blue cheese, uh, old fort uh, cheddar, uh, no colors. No, your cheese should not be orange. <laughs> don't, don't, as far as I know, don't buy orange cheese. <laughs> Goat cheese is the bomb. Goat cheese with figs is amazing. It's amazing. I think I'll go get a goat gouda <laughs> at the nearby store. <laughs> Has it been 20 minutes? <laughs> Has it been 20 minutes? Lord of Thunder, how do you think the current geopolitics climate will affect global economic stability? It will, Lord of Thunder. It, it is changing everything. Changing everything. Everything. Going from a, a hegemonic power uh, to a multipolar uh, globe, uh, bipolar right now, but it's going to go multipolar. Uh, things that had value will lose their value. Things that didn't have value will gain value. Complete economic overhaul. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Chase 26, we have been too independent, uh, too dependent on technology at an exponential rate the last two to three decades. Yeah, and it's been becoming more and more centralized. 
right? Like my thesis, one of my main themes has been regarding the two, uh, the 2000 bubble tech bubble that burst was that that bubble burst because centralized power could not allow technology companies to emerge that they did not control. So what they did, they raised interest rates extremely fast. So any company that was overextended and their clients were overextended, it was a chain reaction, collapsed a lot of tech companies. There were a lot of companies making a lot of computers, a lot of everything technology that wasn't centralized, that didn't have a tracking system on it, that had privacy uh, part of the system, anonymity part of the system, right? And they raised interest rates extremely fast so they could collapse the whole thing and monopolize all those patents and technology and stuff like this where now you have a handful of people creating computers half of people creating handsets handful of people in control of most of the uh, tech that we use to do whatever all right they raised them so fast and people got so screwed they collapsed one of the largest companies one of the biggest tech companies in the world with nortel networks in canada right people didn't see it coming too bad for them so to answer your question lord of thunder how do you think the current geopolitical climate will affect global economic economic stability right now what's happening right now is a couple of orders a hundred times more important more uh, life-changing than what happened during the tech bubble right if you want to call it tech bubble right. chase 26 have you been that, 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 that's eventual my kids ask why they have to Go to school to learn stuff when they can just google it oh google it. crazy tell them because google is it is not the arbiter of truth because they need to think just like rip them a new asshole no don't just fucking make them understand because they tell them the man they got a long ways to go Sorry, dancing visual. You you got you got to be a little harder on your kids. <laughs> but again, you can Google it. What a fucking idiot! We don't use Google in my house. <laughs> we use Yandex. <laughs> we use Brave. Google. Here's the articles on Google. They're censoring their information. They're preventing you from fee getting access to information that they disagree with. What do they disagree with? What centralized power disagrees with? That's fucking fear of fascism. Kids, you want to be a fucking fascist? You don't live in this house. Get the fuck out. No, don't do that to your kids. <laughs> oh my God, gambling in the uh, gambling in the bookies is a great way to understand fractions. Yeah, and, uh, and and can be profitable as well. Indeed, one of the things I'll tell you one of the things. Uh, I have, I have a friend that's a brother to me. Like, uh, like really, he's a brother. He lives in uh, California now, right? Unfortunately, fucking crazy motherfucker. Uh, sort of a good thing because it was one of my drinking uh, brothers, and. Uh, <laughs> there might have been issues there right so um we used to gamble together too right we used to gamble together too. it played poker together here's the incredible thing we've played hundreds of hours of poker together and backgammon together and pool together like years right but we've never gambled on the same craps table together crazy i know because we've never gone to Vegas together. We've always, we never overlapped during our Vegas time in the 1990s, really, in the early uh, 1990s, let's say, right? In the uh, 1980s for me, right? Never overlapped. Like, seriously, we've played probably thousands of hours of poker, uh, pool, backgammon. I learned from pool from this guy, but we've never been on the same craps table together. In a casino, I used to have a little craps table at home where I used to have people come over and would gamble. <laughs> craps table, <laughs> little friendly gambling place, right? Poker, craps, Monopoly, different things for money. It was very friendly. One person, three times. They only showed up three times, and all three times they left a blank check in the pot and walked out the door. <laughs> we had to figure out how much the, how much they owed. <laughs> but my friend wanted to because i learned crafts before he did he wanted to learn crafts because he knew i loved it and i had the little craft table at our house we used to play crap he goes chicho 
I can't figure out this ratio, how, how I do these calculations. I go, okay, what you do, make sure you're betting enough to cancel out the denominator in whatever ratio there is on the table, craps table, right? So I haven't done craps for a while. So uh, the payouts, uh, let's say, uh, oh man, I don't know what the ratios are. I don't want to muck it up. Uh, I should know, but I haven't gone to a craft table for a long time. I used to know all this stuff by heart and how much I was betting. But basically, let's say the ratio of a payout of two to nine, two to nine. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what they were for the numbers, right? Uh, let's say the ratio of something is uh, two to nine, right? That'd be like a four, four and a ten or something like this. Two to nine. It won't be two nine, three to nine. No, it won't be three. Four to nine or something. Four to nine, one and a half, double. It's almost double. Four. To, that would be more double. Five to nine. Let's say five to nine. Let's say you bet on a number that gives you a ratio. The odds are four to nine, right? So what you want to do, because uh, no, no, it'd be three to two. Let's say if you put money on the four, or ten, ten, you get fifteen back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's. Uh, anyway let's 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 do five to nine five to nine right what you want to do is make your bet a multiple of nine so the denominators get killed okay so if you bet nineteen dollar nine dollars on a five to nine ratio the nines kill each other you can make five dollars on your nine right so you get fourteen dollars as payout right so I explained this to him, and he, he was good with math. He just didn't know, the, he couldn't figure it out because he played poker. And then he goes, oh, what the hell? How come they don't explain this to you? I go, well, that's what it is. And he went and started playing craps, and he started doing really well because he understood the best odds. Because on the craps table, what you want to do, the odds are the closest for any table in a casino. Craps is the best place to play any table game in a casino. If you know how to do it right because it's the closest to 50 50 so what you want to do is maximize your payouts your your odds you want to maximize your odds right that's only if you're doing a place bet right if you're doing a come on bet right let's say you put five dollars as a come on bet right some places for four and ten you can only double your come bet going on there right your place bet right not place bet but come uh and the line bet right the line bet i'm trying to remember all these names right lingo the line bet or the come on bet right so if you put five dollars and it goes to the four or ten some places say you could double it right so you could put ten dollars behind it for the ten dollars you get even odds for the five you get five right oh sorry for ten dollars you get double odds i think it was double no no one and a half times odds one and a half times so for the for the five dollars you would get five dollars straight up even before the seven shows up right that's a crappy fucking payout some people would never take any odds it's like man you're a loser right so if you go on the four or a ten from a come with let's say five dollars right if the four or five comes up again before the seven you get paid on the five even odds well seven is way easier to get than four and four and a ten so you lose right but some places would allow you to make double initially a long time ago it was only twice the bet so if the if you five dollars goes on the five right uh, on the four or the ten you could bet ten dollars behind that and on that ten dollars you would get double right so you get twenty dollars back and the five whatever some places increase that to 10 times so on a five dollar bet you could bet 50 dollars in the back which is what you should do maximize your odds right so you talk about the and it's all just effing fractions it's all just effing fractions right sort of went off on that because i'm trying to visualize it one day we're going to sit down on a craps table and do serious craps right we've done a a little bit of it but not much chicho illegal casino it was a bunch of friends getting together playing cards right. i missed a lot of chat game I'm trying to go off on a crafts thing story math story merrick my bad on the retracted message but it was true thanks chicho speaking of gambling what's your favorite card game uh i like gin rummy i like i like poker gin rummy and poker 
and there's multiple versions of gin rummy right and i love multiple versions of poker texas hold'em was amazing omaha is good um five card draw is fantastic but poker is amazing i love poker uh big cheese how do we stop the wf don't buy into the bullshit anybody that spews their garbage rip them a new asshole man rip them a new asshole right you go to a party some guys start spewing off world economic forum bullshit excuse me you're an idiot who who's listening to this fucking moron so what that requires is to be educated in what's going on right educated in what's going on i was at a, at a sort of gathering last night yesterday and this person was talking about oh we start talking about economics we got to interrupt this to a conversation i didn't take it as far as i could or where i wanted to take it but the guy was saying oh the government messed up um you know they screwed over because they didn't give enough money right i go what are you talking about give enough money well they could he goes they could print as much money as they want i go no they can't uh, provincial governments in canada they can't print their own money so they couldn't give out infinite money like it doesn't work that way they shouldn't have shut down the economy and they go oh no the, the mistake wasn't shutting down the economy the mistake wasn't they didn't give people enough money i go you're an idiot right but we didn't get there i was working my way to tell him he was an idiot but it didn't get there right i wasn't going to say it that way i was going to show that it was an idiot da, 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 da. gambling math all the god lord of thunder do you think the a recent surge of uh, migrants at the U.S. border will significantly impact the up upcoming elections. Yes. Also, given the ongoing genocide in Gaza and the Israeli-Palestinian situation, could this lead to Donald Trump or someone similar returning to the political spotlight? Uh, I think Donald Trump's returning to political spotlight irrelevant of Gaza genocide or not. But the Gen Gaza genocide has changed the global landscape because the global majority now looks at the United States is genocidal fucking regime if they hadn't already right so Israel United States UK France Western Europe they're prior prior regions prior and they're collapsing so the global majority is distancing themselves from the Western world right and allowing the West to annihilate itself because what we're really doing in the Western world is committing suicide. And we're committing suicide on behest of the World Economic Forum globalists that want to fuck us over, right? They want to consolidate their power. And the only way they can consolidate their power now that their uh, the plans to rule over the world didn't work, right? Russia, Ukraine war was crucial to their plan. They fucking failed on every level, right? They're trying to consolidate power in the Western world and turn the West into a full on tyranny that will make Stalin fucking laugh right it'll make him look like a fucking joke and that's where we are right salute happy 420 <laughs> Caffoni happy 420 chicho you celebrating today indeed i'm celebrating 420 for many 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 moons gang let's do a snack i'm going into politics now i got munchies first time chat scrum saver oh chicho i remember you from years ago on youtube you're one of the ogs glad to see you on twitch awesome yeah man that's what that's how you get this i'm going with the sausages the guacamole with the smoky i'm gonna go with the spicy potatoes tomato a couple of smokies this is more spicy okay it's pretty good savory and then yeah i'm not craving sweet right now the gin is nice i'm just gonna dip it in the guacamole very nice more very good little bit of
potatoes, tomatoes, a little bit of herbs. Very yummy. With a little guacamole in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Hmm. One more bite of the other smoky. <laughs> like this. Oh yeah, what time is it? We're not at 420 yet, are we? Oh, we missed 420, gang. <laughs> Hilarious. It's got to be 420 somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Salute, gang. I'm going to pour myself another drink. You see, I need to eat healthier. Eat healthy, gang. If I got a recommendation, what do I got? A few recommendations in my life. If you're following my work, <laughs> I eat a snack immediately. And I just, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> twelve thirty midnight um, is two fifty hours. It is four twenty. <laughs> my place, place. Um. I got a few recommendations, but I'll recommend something, a couple of things. I recommend that you learn mathematics, you decentralize your life, and eat healthy. Eat healthy while I'll drink gin. Salute. Okay. Oh, hi. We got a kitty cat here. You guys want to see a kitty cat? A kitty cat. Hi. Hi. This is Via. Hi, Via. You good? I know, I know. Okay, okay. Come on. Off you go. <laughs> He's a good cat. He's an awesome cat. Sal and Via both. Thornsberry? Thornsberry? He just woke up. He just came over to say hi. Load it up. Doop. Choop, choop, choop. Let's see. Will it focus? Is it too close? It's not focusing, gang. Sorry. I'll have to do this. There we go. Something like that. Right. Give the cat no. Don't be, don't mess with the kitty cats. Zensi Chicho. You have to try out sauce bernays with asparagus. Ooh. Or a nice piece of meat is to die for. Sauce Bernays. I don't know what sauce Bernays is, but I love asparagus. Asparagus is so good. Yeti, wow. They're uh, they're so big now. I remember them when they were, yeah, when they were little. They're actually really small cats. They're like medium-sized cats. Uh, what's with the Isle of Sirens? Might be sudden death syndrome. Fuck. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. I'll remember to put up the picture this time. Make sure this thing hits for, uh, what do you call it, 180? Let's bring out our uh, DJ. Doop. Fun. Yeah, you gotta wait.
Yeah, kitty cats is awesome. What's our count? What's our count? Let's check it out. We got 25 people on Sensor 2. We got 33 people on Twitch. And we got six people on Rumble just chilling. Six people that are left. Yeah. Nice. Nice chill 420 day. People must be going uh, sort of uh, sort of panic mode considering what just took place in the United States with their budget. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska, USA, 44 minutes. Is that Oscar? Oh, no, no. Is that picture Chicho in the sky with diamonds? With blue diamonds. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's Paul Simon, isn't it? Paul Simon. Man, Paul Simon's uh, album, uh, Diamonds in the Sky, or whatever it was called. The one he, uh, I think, recorded in South Africa. That was fantastic. We used to, uh, Diamonds and Sweet shoes, or no, what was it called? They're an hour behind me, are they? I didn't realize Alaska was an hour behind me. That's cool. So, uh, at 520, we can uh, get the 420 going. Thanks, Alder God. Now I gotta get some taters going. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Man, I was listening to some uh, old school electronic music and I came across a deep dish track. Have you guys ever listened to, there's like uh, three electronic groups, three electronic, uh, that we've listened to a lot, J Sasha and John, Dig Weed, and Dave Seaman, we used to really love the 90s. Dave Seaman was amazing. Um, and then there's Orbital. And then one album I listened to this morning, which was Deep Dish. I don't know if you guys have listened to Deep Dish from the 90s. Uh, oh, yeah, just electronic music. Super nice, man. Super nice. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Yeah, that's right. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Da, da. That's such an awesome song. Very nice smoke. Very nice smoke. Very nice vape, should I say. Very nice vape. Happy 420, gang. Happy 420. Salute, salute, salute. Chase it with a little kombucha. And these glasses are pretty cool. We got a set of these. Not fat. I got to get some food. Korobali with hummus to dip into. Nice hummus. I like good hummus. Cafoni. What is your take on the war on drugs? Uh, the prohibition. I'm against prohibition of everything. Fuck the war on drugs. Bunch of fucking fascist pieces of shit. It's America's longest war. People say, oh, Afghanistan was in the long. No, it's not. America's war on drugs has been the longest war in fucking U.S. history, Western history, history as far as I know. Fucking, it's been going on for what? Almost a hundred years now. Fucking Nixon, let's say fifty years. Hundred years, man. Right? No, war on drugs is fucking just total. It's genocide. War on drugs is is genocide on a way of being, way way of thought, way of life. Can you tell I feel strongly about it? Happy four twenty. Enough out. See you later. Enough out. We hope you have a fantastic snack. Elder God, Chicho. Thank 420 work clock. Haha. <laughs> is that what it is? 420 work clock? Is there a website called that? That's funny. Cat funny. I'm getting six grams of shrooms on May 4th. I plan on prying open my third eye. Six grams will definitely pry open. Heroic dose. Heroic dose, as Terrence McKenna would say. Merrick, you mentioned the news on U.S. budget, and so I looked it up. What the fuck? Yeah, Merrick. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that doesn't lift the veil for people, man, I don't know what will. Really. 
dancing visual last time i saw mushroom i had mushrooms i could l actually see the music yeah what is it uh america's 95 billion dollars budget spending outside of the united states zero for border what was it 61 million billion for ukraine and 25 billion to help israel continue to commit genocide in gaza rock and roll a eh? rock and roll let's see where all this takes us let's see where all this takes us craziness craziness oh leah went back to sleep he went back and cuddled <laughs> fun stuff yep 95 billion 95 billion big chase is pouring rain here it's uh, the weather's changing here it's going to start raining initially i was going to set it up outside where we we're going to do but uh and get a cigar but the weather wasn't going to cooperate so temporary peace we're on a highway to all we're on a highway we're in, look when when a front moves when a front changes there's usually wind and chaos and stuff like this happening we're in a period right now where we're moving from one state of geoeconomic political state to another right it's going to be turbulent it's going to be turbulent the change is necessary the change is necessary we cannot continue in our current economic the western uh, accounting magic economic system because it's completely fictitious and it's fucking parasitic it feeds off everyone that is not connected to the to the main arteries right and slowly because there's only so much right so much like you know said all banks all wars are bankers wars right and all wars are resource wars. there's only so much available the pool that controls everything becomes smaller and smaller based on our current economic system western driven american crony capitalistic system right uh, some people say oh don't use crony capitalism because capital whatever you want to fucking call it i don't care you want to call it the oligarchy oligarchy fascism fascism communism concept the current system that's dominant in the western world is completely collapsing some would argue that it has already collapsed we're just seeing the ripple effects take hold in certain core industries and core sectors of our economy right because the ripple effect of an economic collapse is not a uh, geographic one like throwing a rock in a pond right you don't see the waves go out oh look three three look, look you can see the wave ripple come out right the economic collapse of an empire has that same ripple effect but it's not visual in the sense is you can see it progressing if you're looking outside your window you have to be paying attention to the economic system what industries are collapsing what industries are booming what countries are collapsing what countries are booming where the wars are breaking out where there's shortages where there's inflation where there's currency collapse where there's currency pressure where there's energy pressure where there's totalitarianism rising up and all that jazz those are the ripple effects of the current collapse of our economic system if we pay attention you can see it you can see it happening it's brilliant <laughs> mr priest came for 420 called blue Coraco lecture awesome <laughs> funny 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 all got pitch black here no riddick or rain though Ooh. oh yeah you're in uk you're at 12 45 uk time big cheese blue sky and rain only in new mexico buff, buff. big cheese cheers cheers this i've always wanted to visit worth visiting they don't want to win the war yeah big cheese. there is no 
none of these wars are are winnable when was the last time someone won a war like the craziness come on I backed in a little tight hard to get it out sorry if this, that was a little loud gang fun California Chicho I am a libertarian socialist do you hold that against me no no as long as you believe in freedom you believe you you, uh, you believe that I have the right to live my life however I want. as long as your beliefs don't infringe on my rights as a human being then we're, we're all good if your beliefs come knocking on my door and say hey Chicho what are you doing in your in the privacy of your own home or hey Chicho you need to have a license from me to be able to conduct business to be able to grow your tomatoes then then we might have a problem but until then you you have the right to believe whatever you want to believe i say do what do what you want to do just don't harm another human being agreed however we must clarify that right because right now in the western world these tyrannical governments are coming out and saying human beings don't have any right because you're you living your life is harming other people or the environment or animals right they're basically saying that right so the whole the the, the way we avoid tyranny like one of the look one of the fundamental things that people have to understand is what do we want as human beings free individual free thinking human beings right if you break it down one of the main things that people want to avoid in society in their lives right eliminate from humanity is tyranny right that should be if it's not number one for people right you want to eliminate tyranny like tyranny bad right if that's not not number one for people then it's in their top five 99.9999999 percent of humanity it will be in their top five what do you think should not exist in our societies tyranny fucking no-brainer right the way you eliminate tyranny is decentralization if you have a decentralized economic system decentralized political system decentralized society you will never have tyranny that's it so the number one bad thing that people want to avoid which is tyranny right the solution to avoid tyranny we already know is decentralization hence we need to decentralize fucking everything any system any political system economic system societal system that is preaching for our societies for humanity to centralize more power that's against humanity that's a tyrannical system okay by by the limit if you do the calculus that leads to tyranny any system that wants to decentralize humanity that's a system that is anti-tyrannical okay so the remedy the solution the medicine right to prevent us from becoming tyrannical society is decentralization so as long as your philosophy your political belief your spiritual belief believes in decentralization i'm totally okay with you i don't care what it is right decentralize the damn shit have we had enough of tyranny i have oh look what about animals indeed right. first time chat hello hello Thanos. hi sir i used to watch your stream some years ago i didn't remember your channel's name and randomly found you got awesome Woo! right off a random refines salute and one of the reasons you might not have been able to find us again is because we didn't you know on sensor two we don't get recommended this comment is on twitch on twitch i've only been around for around five years right i think 
How long we've been around? Oh my god, salute. Zero to our homeless veterans and family. Yeah, zero to our homeless veterans and families. Been watching for several years. QT years and first time catching you live. Been loving your political themes lately. So insightful. Awesome. Quarty. Salute, salute, salute. Welcome to our live stream. Yeah, Big Cheese. The budget is insane. Keep tea. What's your thoughts on how Palestine was controlled pre Zionism? Pre 1948? 1947? By the UK? Uh, Empire? Is that what you mean? Because Israel has always been Zionist. It's just been a slow cancer that's been growing in the Middle East. It's just becoming, what is it called? Anesthetized? It's terminal now, right? big cheese falling leg Rome. it's not the end though it's a yeah it's a new beginning yeah if i remember danaos the na oh danaos if i remember correctly you have an armenian or italian ethnic background armenian iranian canadian canadian armenian iranian iranian armenian canadian iranian canadian I think I did that one. There should be six different <laughs> variations of it. Cafoni, how old is Twitch? I just joined maybe a year and a half ago. I think Twitch is Elder God. Would you, we, uh, we started live streaming December 2017. Wow, we're already seven years? Are you kidding me? Well, six years, I guess. Six and a bit. Very cool. As far as how old Twitch is, Twitch is. Uh, 14 to 16 years old i think Thanos. and my favorite question to you was if zoroastrianism has any hope of reviving ah zoroastrianism i've actually been to a zoroastrian little it's not i don't know if it's called a temple i forget what it's called i have zoroastrian friends a few zoroastrian nice very nice people zoroastrians all look alike <laughs> no sorry zoroastrian yeah, us, yeah, Zoroastrians, yeah, Zoroastrians. There isn't that many Zoroastrians in the world, man. But I've I've had a few that have been good friends. And there's a lot of Jamshids. <laughs> Do you still hold your pessimistic view on that? Zoroastrianism? I don't know if I hold a pessimistic view on Zoroastrianism. I just don't hold any high... high uh, I don't have any... I don't believe in centralized religion end of story i don't believe in centralized anything right very chicho do you still have a discord it's still there but i i just go there to notify people i don't inter even when people send me direct messages i don't interact with people on direct messages either on discord okay uh i'm only we only have our discord page where i'm posting oh new video new this live streaming soon blah that's it because anyone that's been following our work knows that i'm not active on discord i don't want to be active on discord uh it's gilded right now because they're not censoring not us anyway or they're not censoring as far as i know um so we do have a discord but i don't recommend people to go to discord uh, gilded gilded under ottoman rule for example under ottoman rule what did i think about it well the ottoman empire committed genocide on the armenians uh, in 19 you know for before that even uh, late 1800s to early 1900s 1922 or so the ottoman empire was committing genocide on armenia so what do i think about the ottoman rule fuck no fuck the ottoman rule man bunch of fucking pieces of shit the young turf controlled some would say zionist controlled as well back then twitch started in june 2011 from justin tv the justin tv i just found out about merrick ah good to know i was unaware but uh, 
well check gilded yeah gilded here's our gilded uh here. Da, da, da. Boop. that's our gilded server lots of info was shared there lots of info was shared dancing visual okay i better get some work done thanks chicho for chess salute salute thanks for uh joining us dancing visual Hazy. The later stages of the Ottoman Empire was very different to Otto Ottoman in its uh, heyday, which lasted centuries. Yeah, yeah, very different. But that's what happens, right? Oh, let me take Gilded down. Oh, Elder God, you actually have a Justin TV account? No, you lost it. Pooper scooper. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was on YouTube in 2005. I created my first account there, Sensor Two. Uh, 2006, maybe I started uploading. 2007, probably. Let's have a snack. Figs, apples, and almond butter. Figs, apples, and almond butter. Gooey, gooey. <laughs> Very good. Fantastic snack. Fantastic snack. Mr. Brainfree is asking, what's your opinion on Erdogan posing with Hamas later for photo ops? Erdogan is a piece of shit. Erdogan is just a fucking puppet. Erdogan fucked over Turkey. Since Erdogan's in power, Turkey's lost like 90%, 80%. It's lost 95% of its uh, currency and value. The value of the currency in the last 10 years erdogan has been in power almost that long as for the homos leader i don't know easy one two three it it wasn't all bad. The boys ended up usually becoming high ranking members of the military government with better prospects than your regular person. Hard to judge them, however, with modern day standards. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, the Ottoman Empire, yeah. Not that I agree with the practice myself. I read that it wasn't necessarily forced either, in all instances at least. Capfoni. So I went to see Primus. Nice, I've seen Primus. Mm, have I seen Primus? I've seen Oysterhead. Uh, Pacifier and A Perfect Circle on the ninth. Nice. Second best concert I've been to in my life. Nice. Primus is awesome. Primus are awesome. Hello, brothers. Ken's Corner. Salutations on Rumble. Elga is my spirit animal. The Gilder server is lit. The Gilder server is good. We do, we do good. my brother from another mother is here nice actually i'm everywhere <laughs> god says hilarious <laughs> yeah primus one of the best bassists ever and his voice so unique man yeah this discussion about ottoman empire ottoman empire bad 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 john zuck i got like five month good eye 
I'm just trying. Oh my God, nice. Quarty. Young Turks were massively secular nationalists, and it's disgusting what they did to the Armenians. Anyone who denied it is insane. Insane. And by the way, the Young Turks, they had a lot of Zionist members, right? So Zionists had a lot to do with the Armenian genocide. They, in large part, instigated it. Okay. Just so you know. Just so you know. Les Claypool, Les is awesome, Cheryl says. Yeah, Les Claypool is amazing. I saw them, uh, Oysterhead put out one album. They did one tour. <laughs> I was lucky enough to see them. And the person who took me to them is my friend, my Irish friend that I told you. He gave me the hash brownie thing. He said, I eat a quarter, I eat a quarter, da, 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 da. He's the one that took me. And the, no, no, that was a, but he's the one that took me to see Oysterhead. And we saw it in an amazing, like, posh auditorium, uh, what do you call it, stage auditorium thing that they never threw, like, shows like that. It was Les Claypool, Stuart Copeland, and the fish guy. I forgot, uh, what's his name? I forget his name, the guitarist. What a show. Oysterhead is amazing. It's just an experience, really. Lover forever. What strain are you smoking today? I'm smoking a Thornsberry. Our harvest from last year. Thornsberry. This jar was 36 grams from a 90 gram. Uh, we got off one plant. Trey, uh, yeah. Uh, Trey. Trey uh, Anastasia. That's that. Yeah, that's a Trey. Yeah, Trey was doing the guitar. Super good, Cheryl. You would have fucking flipped. Right? Cheryl, I've only got to see them once. They opened for U2's, oh, U2 ugly Zoropa tour in the 1990s. I went with friends, Solid C Prime is nice. I went to the Joshua Tree tour, they did. I used to love U2. Fuck, oh, God. The shame, shame, shame. The first song I ever learned how to play was Sunday, Bloody Sunday. And Back then it was good, but man, Bono, fuck, man. What a piece of fucking crap that guy is fucking it's like ireland collectively took a fucking dump right just took a fucking dump and bono came out fucking oozing out fucking shit fucking liquid shit that fucking pops his head out in places fucking crazy damn the worst the fucking poop of ireland fucking bono crazy Oh, Hazy, look into Bono, man. Bono is the same crowd as Epstein. Vomit inducing. World Economic Forum, Epstein gang. Kafkoni, I can't remember who opened for Primus the first time I saw them. The second time I saw them, they opened for two, oh, two Primus, dude. And then this last time was amazing as always. Damn, Tool opening, Primus opening up for Tool. <laughs> so good, I've seen Tool live. So good, so good. Hazy, oh shit, nasty piece of work. Hey, oh, nasty. The worst fucking thing. No, seriously, like what I explained was it. That's what Bono is. <laughs> Temporary peace. Bono is the accumulation of human filth. It's fucking Irish fucking poop, man. Garbage, garbage. 420 time, 420 time. So that one bud we took down, we're taking down the rest of it, right? So we did one nice bud. Let's load up our and here's the other one. Check this out. Here's one of the other pipes. I cleaned it a couple of days ago. Nice. This was super fresh. Nothing like a fresh pipe. And this one only fits in well, it fits in the newer one, but it fits nice on this one. In the newer one is really tight. Alright, so this one, check this out. This one it goes in really easy. Alright. In the newer one, it might be just a little bit oversized, right? It's tighter, so I don't want to push it in. You can, but I don't want to. Right? In the first solo version one, right? Da -ba -da -da -ba. 
Merck, Bono is with Epstein. Now nah, I get the South Park episode about him. Ha <laughs> ha. South Park's pretty good. Setting up to three. Let it heat up. Ooh, Kafkoni, I've seen two or four times. The last time being back in January. It was mom's Christmas gift for me. Nice, nice gift. Nice mom. Oh, got 12th November 1987, Vancouver, I guess she chose. Well, was that it? Was it, it would have been then. Yeah, it would have been then. Yeah, yeah. Was it then? Yeah, yeah, it must have been then. It was a fun show. It was a fun show. Back then, it was good, man. But, man, I can't listen to that no more, right? Great drum uh, uh, set, though. For playing drums, Sunday Bloody Sunday, military beat, so fun to play. And I played it phenomenal, right? And we played it in front of people. People are like, damn, that sounds amazing. I kept going in November 1987 when I was eight months old. <laughs> Listen to your elders. We know where it's at. We know where it's at. Salud, gang. Okay, we're putting up our uh, our DJ. DJ coming up. DJ coming up. Boo! 420 DJ. Very nice. Yeah, Kafkoni, I'm drinking gin. I'm drinking this stuff. Here, let me show you. This stuff. Empress. Empress 1908 gin. Local gin. Maybe it was later. Was it later? 90s? I don't know. I can't remember. I know you two played in the early 90s, early 80s, at a small stadium that I didn't see. No, it might have been that period. It might have been that. Maybe it was early 90s I saw them. I can't remember. Salute, yeah. I like bourbon. I like spirits, period. Ken's Corner. That looks good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm eating my dinner right now, actually. Baked zucchini. Ziti? Ken's Corner. Ziti. Is that zucchini? Is Ziti short for zucchini? Oh, was it pretend? No, the pretenders wasn't supporting act. Oh, the God. Who was who opened up? I can't even remember who opened up for you two when I saw them. It was a nice show, like it was. Like it was long, it was good, it was really full. Like it was sold out big time. Be right back. <laughs> You're gonna check it out. I can't, I don't think it was a pretenders man. I don't think it was a pretenders. Like you two's album War is fantastic, really good. Joshua Tree was amazing, right? But fuck Bono, man. Merrick, have you tried Bloom Bloom Gym? This is P uh, P Bloom P Blossom. I don't think I tried Bloom Gym. Don't have too much experience with gin to begin with, but definitely enjoy that one. Yeah, gin varies a lot. That's what I found out about gin. The flavors of gin incredible variety of gin like vodka is very uh i mean there's really good vodka there's bad vodka but very uh, vodka the flavors don't vary as much but gin is all over the place see death 420 thought you mean uh you meant sunny bono oh sunny bono poor guy <laughs> didn't know there was two bonos <laughs> learn something new every day uh sunny bono as far as i know it was a, it was a nice guy man Sunny and Cher. Oh my god, Cher. Sonny Bono became the mayor of... Which town did he become the mayor of? Somewhere in California. Near the Nevada border, I think. Uh, 
Sunny and Cher. Damn. What a weird period, eh? Salud, gang. Palm Springs. Yeah, 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 yeah. See death. Yeah, that's right. Bono became... Uh, what do you call it? Sonny Bono became the mayor of Palm Springs. Because I knew people that used to go to Palm Springs. They had townhouses there. They invited me to go there. Go chill in their houses, their pools and stuff like this. I was like, no, man, I'm good, thanks. Uh, Elder God, November 1992. That's when... Pro, pro, no, it was way before then, man. No, no, no. No, and it wasn't 1998. No. You know what? It would have been the 80s then. It was the 80s concert I saw. It wouldn't have been 1992. And it wouldn't have been 1997. No, it must have been 1987 then. That's when I saw them. That's when I saw them. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Maybe it was 1997. I can't remember, brother. Damn, the whole thing is a blur. <laughs> When the hell did I see them? Maybe it was 1997. Did I see them then that late? No. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it was Elder God. Did you ever see the movie Seven? Seven? Yeah, Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Elder God. It might have been 1997. Hell no, no. It wouldn't have been 1997. What are we talking about? Twenty nine sounds of what right? Maybe, maybe. Blurry, blurry. America. Yeah, vodka's quite straightforward, I agree. I'll have uh, to try what you're drinking this evening. Are you? It's nice. I love the color on it. And it's a strong drink. Like this isn't but gin is in general pretty sharp, very sharp. Kafconi, I have the prequel comic to that movie really only 2,000 copies in existence and I have one I lost it for a year and finally found it today um, made my oh no way what's it called the prequel to the movie seven that's starting to ring a bell man that's starting to ring a bell it's called seven very cool very cool I don't think I have it I don't think I have I have it it's the prequel to it very cool i have the prequel to uh, uh dick tracy dick tracy comic with uh, madonna and uh, what's his name kafkoni and i also have my copy of the graphic novel the crow indeed kafkoni i have the first print of the crow and the second print and the trade paperbacks as well great uh, graphic novel um yeah the trade paperbacks what's in the box what's in the oh what's in the box i'm not going to give you guys spoilers but it's uh it might uh, uh try to not give a spoiler by giving a spoiler but i won't do it <laughs> it's the same thing that's in the in the in the rag of um fallout <laughs> fallout has the same concept same thing appearing in it fun fun oh gang we're five minutes away from alaskan 420 we're gonna do an alaskan 420 smoke them if you got them alaskan 420 <laughs> highlander vibes highlander vibes ah that's a good way that's a good way to do it highlander vibes there will only be one is that what they said there will only be one or there can only be one well lightning strikes and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to make transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org candles for assange.com or countless resources available on free speech platforms 
big chase usd lost 24 percent since 2000 uh, 2020 uh us dollar has gained a lot of value relative to other currencies in the last four years look at the japanese yen it's lost 50 percent of its value in the last 10 years turkish lira has lost 95 percent of its value in the last 10 years so it's lost the usd may have lost 24 percent of its purchasing value right so if it's lost 24 percent of its purchasing value that means inflation has gone up right which is due to many things go for chicho i forget which strain you grew last year and would it be possible to nominate strains for you to grow this coming uh season uh don't lose your head don't lose your head elegas <laughs> that's, a, that's a giveaway what do you call a spoiler uh grow for us uh, we have seeds that we should have been germinating right now we're way late way late um but you can recommend as long as we have the seed all will grow it for sure uh grow forest but uh, there's so many different strains what are the odds of us having the strain that you're looking for right see that there must be thousands strains it's getting silly i've never had the same weed twice. yeah I've, I've had the same uh cannabis twice for sure for sure right but there's so many strains out there and everybody is jovial just genetically not genetically but they they grow germinate or whatever it's called sex or germinate uh so chicho where do you source the seeds from uh my partner took care of it last time she got a whole bunch and now in canada you can in bc anyway you can you can buy cuttings new highlander remake oh man i hope they do it justice the old the original was amazing sean connery in there gang let's do a happy 420 i'm gonna load it up with a new bowl okay hold on let's load it up we're gonna stick with thornsberry we got two minutes for an alaskan 420 we're gonna do an Alaskan 420. Ooh, that's a nice bud. Thornsberry. Not tight at all, loose. That's the way we cut it. That's the way we like it. We take a little center part. See this? Nice. And break it up. Load it in. Loaded it and use a newer version. Let me close the lid on my Thornsberry. Nice. Cool. Temporary piece. Any way to find something good online? Um, I'm not sure. Depending on where you live, like in Canada, you can get seeds many places. Uh, so I think my partner hooked up online somewhere, was able to get seeds. Uh, as far as cutting goes, I think uh, dispensaries in Canada can now sell cuttings, as far as I know. So that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Salute, salute. Grow for us. I would love to send you clothes. Oh, brother. Yeah, but borders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it. I may be able to send you seeds. I know you're you've grown a royal Kush variety. Yeah, excellent medicine. I was thinking Kush, uh, Kush or Kush. Real MC Mike. Salutations for the sub. Thirteen months in a row for tier one. Salute, brother. Uh, thinking Kush or Kush or de or depends on what flavor you prefer. Man, I like it all. That's one thing with me and cannabis, man. I like variety. I cannot recommend I, I cannot recommend excellent seed banks as well. I can I could recommend yeah, we have seeds. These seeds were pretty good. Uh, so we have the seeds, uh, and my partner has been storing on property and stuff, so they should be fine. Uh, in two weeks most likely we try to germinate. I'm I'm trying it earlier, but I'm so busy I haven't had the time. We've got to set up the space for it. See that wheat wheat is so cheap here. It would cost more electricity to grow yeah but there's something about growing your own man this you can't buy this wheat really you can't buy this wheat i tried we 
we grabbed cuttings from a from a seller a few years ago grew uh, uh durban durban poison poison durban something uh ours was amazing so good we bought it from them thinking it was going to be the same style as ours. not even close not even close gang dj's coming up 420 oh we missed it 420 420 <laughs> salute A straight Durban poison clone, a clone, if you could get your hands on it, would be uh, amazing. Uh, the Durban poison is one of the best smokes ever. Temper, exactly. No no good weed in the market. Uh, there probably are some good, but nothing like growing your own. I haven't bought cannabis for a while, so I don't know. Go first. We're at Oklahoma coming online drop the prices down low low everywhere Woo! michigan michigan oh god hey Shell. you know it's kind of funny texas always seems so big but you know you're in the largest state in the union when you're anchored down in uh anchorage ohio anchorage anchored down in anchorage ohio anchorage what the hell <laughs> oh my god <laughs> whack ox here in netherlands you can grow up to five plants outside if you have a garden that's way cheaper yeah yeah in canada you can grow four i don't know why they put a limit on it but fuck it go for us michigan have 200 dollar pound going regularly at the meetup yeah the cannabis oh 200 pound not an ounce pound damn that's sweet <laughs> that's like how do these cannabis companies make money they don't it's a tax fucking scam uh evander holy fields do you have any videos on how to grow i have gardening videos but i don't uh, i haven't put out one from you know this is what we do from beginning to end we just sort of watch our cannabis grow, grow in the patio garden hilarious see that everyone is so spoiled we grew up on cr uh, crappy michigan brick weed with giant exploding black seeds hilarious i was lucky on the west coast of bc always usually had access to really good weed some of the best was uh thai weed thai weed for a time in the 80s was fantastic see that sometimes it smelled it smelled like gasoline from being smuggled in some tank damn <laughs> not nice i mean mexican brick weed for michigan not michigan yeah mexican weed sometimes we make it up here people laugh at that shit <laughs> what the fuck no one ever smoked mexican weed in bc hilarious grow for us we used to call the brick weed stress stuff people seeking it what the fuck so good oh i it's a 1987 song about anchorage alaska okay cool 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 a temper piece would love a video of the germination process since it's coming up oh okay i'll try i'll try i i can't promise temper piece but i'll try i'll try see that you score an eight bag from some dude then you got to smoke him down by the time you get off just a pinch left <laughs> hilarious and the, one of the worst things about buy weed on the streets or whatnot what it was, is the fucking chemicals they use man nasty ass shit evander in cali we call bad weed backyard bo backyard what booger <laughs> backyard boogie backyard boogie hilarious it's california there's got to be boogie in there man they would boogie with porn with movies with weed hilarious oh my god i would love a live stream of it of the germination it'd be really quick like it'd be a quick live stream i'll see what i can do i'll see what i can do i'll see what i can do 
You might be late in getting it germinated. Yay, we got 16 people on Rumble. We got 21 people on Twitch. And we got 16 people on Sensor 2. Awesome, awesome. Fun times, fun times. Nice smoke. Thornsberry. I think I'm going to be sticking to Thornsberry for today. Let's put this down. Bring out. Nice. Nice. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Do you feel like a snack? Do you feel like a snack? Should we be doing a snack? Salute gang. I hope you're having a good time. Seriously, strong salute. Go first. Nowadays, it's not even the chemical spray. Sometimes you can grow beautiful looking buds, and the input fertilizers are bare bones, and it ends up smelling like nothing. Really? That sucks see that i remember the whole town going dry for months all i could find was leaf where is the kitty the kitties south via came by earlier they're both cuddled up they're passed out they're passed out afternoons is their sleep time nap time right grow for us would love to send you some freak show mutant varieties to grow out <laughs> the yield is just the greatest but the plant has fern like leaves and a nice novelty really interesting 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 i once we get some land and stuff like this i'll definitely be you know experimenting that's for sure they call it cardboard terps <laughs> what the hell oh nice all the god all the god says i'm going to uh to try and watch fallout after stream nice that's what i'm gonna do after the stream i'm gonna i'm on episode number five i think either four or five i can't remember uh, i'm enjoying it really fun i'm enjoying it super good gang we apocalypse time coming seriously if you don't think we're close to fallout universe then you really don't have an imagination <laughs> because we got iran and Iran and Israel trading missiles right now. Right? Whoop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Fallout, fallout coming soon. Thumbs up. <laughs> right. Go go inside your shelter. So uh, it's a fun show. It's a fun show. It's, it's, uh, it's a good distraction from what could be. Oh, fallout bong. Uh, bonkers everyone has got fallout bunkers seriously have they nice nice i'm glad people are enjoying it i will pass you by <laughs> grow up for us by the time you finish the last episode you'll be so intrigued by the vault type universe they have pl uh, playing out nice nice cheryl the kiddo and i start uh episode one and we'll finish uh finish after nice cheryl nice to the fallout universe to the fallout crowd <laughs> hopefully we can at least if we're gonna go in a vault we end up in the same vault and we'll never open the door again <laughs> chase i've been playing the fallout games in preparation nice i want to see the new new civil war movie ah me too i do as well yeah i do as well salute 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 our cash will grow cash crops cannabis <laughs> Who needs corn where you can grow cannabis? <laughs> like the good cult that we are, indeed, indeed. We're anti-cult, actually, because we don't have secrets. We share everything, right? Within reason, of course. Fun, fun, fun. What was that? It was blue. This is uh, uh, kombucha. This is kombucha. This is... I don't want to spill it. This is kombucha. This is... Uh, lychee jasmine kombucha very delicious ah. 
we would have a great subterranean community seriously <laughs> i'd be like yeah <laughs> but it'd be fucking pretty yeah it would be good uh, all the guys in charge of security <laughs> I'll, I'll do the cooking i'll do the cooking Elder God can do the cooking too. Cheryl can do the cooking too. Dibs and hunting a bar. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, too funny. Kowarti. Also, just another geopolitics history question. Would you consider King Abdullah a British puppet? Oh, 100%. <laughs> the whole fucking dynasty is a British puppet. Yeah, from Jordan. 100%. They're fucking just a plan like an old like just this family head that they put in charge of the indigenous population what the fuck it's like the white king some shit like this temporary freeze cannabis quality assurance department <laughs> nice <laughs> i'll live stream <laughs> i'll write the newsletter see that says hilarious funny funny grow forest nice grow forest you're my first pick awesome awesome dibs on hunting outdoors on off ground <laughs> evander uh sensitive says uh, i'll be comic relief done deal done deal fun fun salute gang salute to the chichonian vault i guess <laughs> what number what number are we gonna call us we can't be 33 that's already taken Sixty nine. We're vault sixty nine. As long as it's not a sausage party. <laughs> Four twenty, of course. What are we thinking, Cheryl? <laughs> Four twenty. Vault four twenty. Thank you. Salute gang. Vault four twenty. Or grow for us says forty two. <laughs> Chase says vault sixty nine. <laughs> Elder God comes in four oh two. Too funny, too funny, too funny. Gang, let's call the stream. Let's call the stream. I think everyone's aching to go see some, um, what do you call it? Fallout, right? We gotta watch it. We gotta go turn on Fallout and watch it. As everything is mixed up. Yeah, as everything is mixed up. Of course, we could build, you know, communities between you, uh, close to each other. Forty-two with a graffiti zero on the outside, <laughs> just to confuse the fucking ghouls. Not only anything confuses those fuckers. Gang, let's call the stream. Another four twenty down. Another four twenty down. What a fun time! What a fun time! Have an awesome four twenty, Chicho. You guys as well. You guys as well. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Indeed, indeed. The Chichonian line. The Chichonian line. Sheriff says, take care, everyone. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic fallout on not a Tom Cruise and said, yeah, I know it. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic rest of your 420. Gang, no stream next weekend. We're going to take a weekend off, so I'll probably be back live streaming uh, two weeks two weeks from now. Okay, so it's most likely the earliest is going to be two weeks from now. Okay, we've had a good run doing a fair bit. I'm going to load up the segments slowly. I just uh, we're just gonna relax with it i hope you enjoy your spring um you know we're in early spring and whatnot so it's a nice time to work in the garden do whatever you need to do go for walks and whatnot and you know recruit from your 420 celebration happy 420 and 520 everyone indeed oh my god two weeks the world get up by then it could <laughs> see that <laughs> i'll see you guys in the vault <laughs> you guys know where that where it's at thank you sir let's do it hilarious hilarious gang uh if you want to what this work as well we're on patreon uh subscribe star Substack. you're definitely welcome to follow us there we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join our little community and share information talk just be who you want to be okay we are live streaming on twitch on sensor tube on rumble and hopefully soon to be on bit and odyssey somewhere in the deepest darkest alberta cheryl says maybe <laughs> maybe I, I did a lot of traveling around as geophysicists in canada so i know some fucking amazing spots 
I'll have to look him up again, but uh, we'll try to build it. We don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. Gang, we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast. And this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify, Google's Play, Amazon, Apple, whatever the hell you're watching it on, listening it on. Gang, we are on Twitter. We're on Minds. We're on Gab. We're on VK. We're on True Social. We're on Substack Notes. And we're on getter you're definitely welcome to follow us on those platforms and more for those of you that are supporting this work showing up to these live streams joining our gilded server supporting this work financially liking sharing however were you doing it and to the mods gang happy 420 thank you for being here salute gang